Hey guys, James here from James Set Productions with two more insane Reaper tips today. Two weeks ago, I showed you the easiest way to add a plugin to your tracks with just one click of your mouse or just hitting a shortcut on your keyboard. I'll link that in the description. This week, I'm taking it to another level by showing you a few more tips to drastically improve your Reaper workflow. One is how to add a plugin with your own settings or a whole plugin chain to multiple tracks with just a keyboard shortcut or one click of a button like this. The other tip I will show you is super cool. I'm going to teach you how to distribute different plugin chains to different tracks based on their track names with just a keyboard shortcut or one click of your mouse like this. As you can see, with one click of this button, these three tracks are given three different plugin chains I created for each of them. Let's dive in. There are two ways to go about creating this workflow of adding a plugin with your own custom settings or adding a plugin chain to tracks with just one click or a keyboard shortcut, depending on where you save your ethic chains. I'm going to show you which way you should follow. Let's say we want to save this as an FX chain. We go here and hit save FX chain and it opens up this window asking where we want to save it. If you're saving all your FX chains in the default path that is recognized by Reaper, which is this one for Windows at least, you can keep watching. But if you save your FX chains in a different folder, like if you want to back them up in a separate hard drive, which is what I do. As you can see, this is not the default FX chain path for Reaper. Skip to this timestamp in the video because the first method will not work for you. This section is for those of you who save your FX chains in the default Reaper FX chain folder. Let's say I have this EQ settings that I always use and I want to be able to add it to my tracks easily with a keyboard shortcut. What you want to do is click on the FX button in the mixer or the track control panel to bring up the FX window. Go to FX, save FX chain, give it a name and hit save. If you have multiple plugins on a track and you just want to save that EQ setting, you can always right click on the EQ, go to FX chains and choose save selected FX as chain. Once you have saved the EQ with your settings as an FX chain, click on an empty FX slot in the mixer. Go to FX chains here, and you should see that FX chain you just saved, which is this one. This page will only show the FX chain saved in Reaper's default FX chain folder, which is why if you save the FX chains to a different folder, you'll have to be using a different method that I'll be covering later in the video. Now, right click on the FX chain and select create shortcut you'll see this pop-up window. If you want to add this EQ using a keyboard shortcut, like the letter A, Shift A, or Command A, or whatever it is, this is when you want to press the keys. Let's say I want to add this EQ with Control Shift A, so I'm gonna press these keys. When the pop-up window disappears, like so, it means that the keys are registered. And now let's give it a try. Select the track that you want to add the EQ with your custom settings. You can even do multiple tracks. Let, let me actually do that. I'm gonna select all of them and hit the keyboard shortcut you just assigned to this plugin. And voila, the EQ has been added to all the tracks with my own custom settings. If you want to add a plugin chain to tracks with a keyboard shortcut, all the steps are the same. The only difference is that Instead of saving an FX chain with just one plugin, you are saving an FX chain with multiple plugins. If you ever want to change the shortcut, here's how to do it. Go to Actions, Show Action List, and type in the FX chain name, which is my EQ settings for me. And in here, you can delete or add keyboard shortcuts for it. If you want to learn how to add an FX chain with just one click on a button instead of a keyboard shortcut, my last Reaper video shows you how to do that. Just click here. Now skip to this timestamp to learn how to distribute multiple plugin chains to different tracks based on their names with just one click or a keyboard shortcut. This section is for those of you who save your FX chains in a folder 
that is not the default Reaper FX chain folder. You first need to make sure that you have the SWS extensions installed. I'll put the link where you can download it in the description. Let's say I have this EQ setting that I always use and I want to be able to add it to my tracks easily with a keyboard shortcut. Click on the FX button in the mixer or the track panel to bring up the FX window. Go to FX, save, FX chain. Now, when this window pops up, it shows you the default FX chain folder, but you're watching this section because you save your FX chains to a different folder. So give it a name and save it wherever you want. I'm saving it in my Dropbox folder. When that's done, go to extensions and choose resources. By default, this is probably going to be empty. What you want to do now is right click this button and choose set autofill directory. Find a folder where you save the FX chain and hit OK. And now left click the same button and you should see that the FX chain you just saved show up here. If you have many plugin chains in that folder, they will all show up here. Next, go to actions, show action list and type paste FX chain to tracks. You'll see a list of actions that says resources, paste FX chain to selected tracks, slot a number. What you want to do now is to check in the resources window what slot number that FX chain you saved has. So in my case is slot 60. Then in the action list, find the corresponding action, which for me is paste FX chain to selected tracks slot 60. So it matches that. Now you can click add here and register a keyboard shortcut for it. I'm going to assign control shift A. And now let's give it a try. Select the track. You want to add the EQ with your custom settings. You can even do multiple tracks. L let me actually do that. So I'm selecting all these four tracks and now hit the keyboard shortcut you just assigned. And voila, the plugin is added just like that. And if I open them, you can see that they all have the settings I saved. If you want to learn how to add an FX chain with just one click on a button, instead of a keyboard shortcut, my last Reaper video showed you how to do that. Just click here. Now that you know how to add FX chains easily, it's time to take it to the next level. A lot of us have our own plugin chains for different things like guitars, bass, drums, vocals, etc. So here, I'm going to show you how to set up one button or one keyboard shortcut so that when you click it, it will insert your vocal chain to the track named vocals, your guitar chain to the track named guitars, and your drum bus chain to the track named drums all at once. Before we start, make sure you have the SWS extensions installed. I'll put a link in the description to where you can download that. The SWS extensions are required to set up this workflow. First, you want to make sure you have your chains saved. So here I have my vocal chain, guitar chain, bass chain, drum bus chain saved. Next, you want to right click on one of them and choose create shortcut. And now simply close the window. You want to do this to all the chains. I'm just going to do this to my guitar chain as well. Create shortcut, close that. Next, go to extensions and choose cycle action editor. If this is your first time using it, it will be empty. Right click on here and choose add cycle action. Give it the proper name and hit enter. On the right side, right click on this, go to add statement and choose console. Now type S in uppercase and then type in whatever you would name your guitar bus. This name must match the track name exactly. And I recommend using just one word. Don't put any space in the track name. Once you type in the track name, hit enter. Next, if you haven't already, Open the action list by actions, open action list. In the action list, find the guitar FX chain. We created a shortcut for our FX chain, which is why you can find that here. Once you find it, highlight it and go back to the cycle action editor, right click here and choose add selected action. You see that the action is added here. Do the same thing for all the other tracks. Here, I'm going to do one more for vocals. So right click, Add statement, console, uppercase S, and vocals. Hit enter. Go to the action list again, type vocals, highlight that, go back here, right click, add selected action. So now we have the vocal chain here. You can do as many chains as you want. 
but I'm just going to put these two for demonstration purposes. Once you're done, hit apply in here. And now let's give it a test. So I have a whole bunch of tracks here. I have one named guitars, vocals, drums, bass. And this cycle action should add the correct FS chain to the vocals track and the guitars track. And it will not do anything to the other two where the name doesn't match. Again, make sure the track names match what you wrote in the cycle action editor. So if you look at here, I have guitars, this is guitars, vocals, this is vocals. To run the cycle action, right click on it and hit run. Now, let me move all these away. If we take a look at here, you can see that Reaper has successfully added the correct FS chain to the correct tracks. If you look at the guitars, I have an M-SIM and for the vocals, I have the compressor, de delay and reverb. The other tracks are unaffected because their names don't match. You can do this with as many tracks and FX chains as you want. And you can find this new cycle action in the action list, which means that you can make a button for it or assign a keyboard shortcut to it and run this action just by using one click of a button or just using one keyboard shortcut. This can save you so many clicks down the road. If you want to know how to create buttons, check out my last Reaper video. Here's a bonus tip. If you don't want all the plugin windows to open like that upon running this cycle action, all you need to do is find this action called close all floating FX window in the action list and add it as the last action in the cycle action we created. So highlight that, go here, add selected action and hit apply. And now when we run this action, All the plugin windows will be closed at the end. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and give it a like if you find it helpful. Subscribe for awesome weekly content on music production. Now get back to your doll and make some music and I'll see you next time.